Hello and welcome back to the channel that steals millions of dollars worth of stock picks from stock picking experts and gives them away for free. Today we're going to be looking at a new presentation from Eric Fry. Eric Fry is out with another stock teaser pushing AI stocks and claiming that if you act now, there's 1000% profit potential. This time, he's pushing a chip maker with a presence in America. All of this is in his presentation with the title The Coming $3 Trillion AI Panic. However, he wants over $1,700 to reveal the chip maker he's talking about, but I have good news. He left enough clues in the presentation to figure out the stock he's pushing, which I reveal in the video for free. Additionally, I'll give you all the information you need on the stock so you can determine if it's a worthwhile investment or not. Lastly, if you're looking for a great place to get market beating stock picks, make sure to click the link in the description under this video. Let's get started now. Eric Fry is out with a new stock teaser that focuses on AI. He recently released an AI teaser called Project Omega that was extremely popular. My video revealing the stocks in that presentation was my most watched video this year by far. Well, Eric is trying to see if he can capture people's imaginations again, and this time he's focusing on chip makers. The main theme of this presentation is that AI is going to be big, and chip makers are going to benefit big time from this trend. The reason for this is quite simple. AI requires special GPUs and chips to function. Every company is rushing to release AI products and hop on the AI trend. So that means more chips are going to be made. Another big theme of this stock presentation is that the chip maker Fry is recommending is going to manufacture in America. The reason he's pushing American-made chips is that there are a lot of tax incentives to make chips in America. According to Fry, American legislation offers 25% tax credits to companies that manufacture GPUs on US soil. And according to Fry, a certain company will receive $20 billion in tax credits from the government. This $20 billion can be used to develop new products, increase production, and build new plants, which Fry claims this company is doing. Another reason Fry is pushing American chips is the potential for trouble in Taiwan. Massive companies like Nvidia get their GPUs from Taiwan Semiconductor, and any conflict Taiwan has with China would severely hurt Nvidia. As a result, Nvidia is looking to get GPUs from an American manufacturer. There are a couple clues in the presentation that give away the stock Fry is talking about. The first is that chip makers could potentially build a $20 billion chip manufacturing plant in America, which would be the biggest in the world. Here's an article detailing Intel's plan to do that in Ohio. Another clue is that Fry claims Nvidia wants American-made GPUs and could potentially get their GPUs from the company he's pitching. This alludes to a potential deal with Nvidia and Intel, so I'm 100% confident that Intel is the company being pitched by Eric Fry here. But is it a slam-dunk investment like Fry claims? Keep watching to get that answer. The current state of Intel's stock and what analysts think of the company are as follows. Intel's stock performance has been underwhelming in the past year, as it has lagged behind its competitors and the broader market. It has gained only 5.9% in the past 12 months, compared to 28.4% for the S&P 500 and 38.8% for the Nasdaq 100. Intel's stock performance has also been affected by its challenges in the semiconductor industry, such as the global chip shortage, the loss of market share to rivals like AMD and Nvidia, the delay in its 7 nanometer technology, and the increasing competition from Apple and other chip designers. Intel's stock outlook is mixed, according to analysts' forecasts and ratings. The average 12 month price target for Intel is $33.95, which implies a slight increase of 0.49% from its current price. However, the range of price targets is wide, from a low of $17 to a high of $46, reflecting the uncertainty and divergence of opinions about Intel's future prospects. The average analyst rating for Intel is hold, based on 6 buy ratings, 21 hold ratings, and 6 sell ratings. Some analysts are optimistic about Intel's new leadership under CEO Pat Gelsinger, who has announced a bold strategy to revamp Intel's manufacturing capabilities, expand its foundry services, and invest in new technologies like AI and 5G. Others are skeptical about Intel's ability to catch up with its competitors and regain its innovation edge in the fast-changing semiconductor market. So Fry seems to be much more enthusiastic about this company than many others. Intel's earnings and revenue in 2022 reflected a year of challenges and transformation for the company, as it faced several headwinds in the semiconductor industry and embarked on a bold strategy to revamp its manufacturing capabilities, expand its foundry services, and invest in new technologies. Some of the challenges that Intel faced in 2022 were First the global chip shortage, which affected the supply and demand of PC components, as well as other industries that rely on semiconductors, such as automotive, consumer electronics, industrial, and medical. Second, the loss of market share to AMD, which gained ground with its Ryzen and Epic processes that offered better performance, power efficiency, and price than Intel's Core and Xeon processes. Third, the delay in its 7 nanometer technology, which put Intel behind its competitors like TSMC and Samsung that were already producing chips using more advanced processes. 
Fourth, the increasing competition from Apple and other chip designers that used ARM-based architectures, which offered lower power consumption and higher integration than Intel's x86-based architectures. Some of the transformation initiatives that Intel undertook in 2022 were the announcement of its IDM 2.0 strategy, which aimed to leverage its internal manufacturing capabilities, expand its external foundry partnerships, and offer its foundry services to other chip customers. Next was the launch of its 11th generation core processors, codenamed Tiger Lake, which featured its 10 nanometer superfin technology and integrated XE graphics. After that there was the introduction of its third generation Xeon scalable processors, codenamed Ice Lake, which featured its 10 nanometer Sunny Cove technology and supported PCIe Gen 4 and DDR43200 memory. There was the acquisition of Habana Labs, a company that specialized in AI accelerators, and the integration of its products into Intel's AI portfolio. And lastly the investment of $20 billion to build two new fabs in Arizona, and the plan to invest $80 billion more to build additional fabs in the US and Europe over the next decade. Intel's earnings and revenue outlook for 2023 is mixed, according to its own guidance and analysts' forecasts. The company expects to generate $45 billion in revenue for 2023, down 29% from 2022. It also expects to report a loss per share of $0.80 for 2023, compared to a profit per share of $1.94 in 2022. However, these numbers include the impact of the planned sale of its NAND memory business to SK Hynix, which is expected to close in late 2022 or early 2023. Excluding this impact, Intel expects to generate $55 billion in revenue for 2023, down 13% from 2022. It also expects to report a profit per share of $0.15 for 2023, down 92% from 2022. Analysts have a slightly more optimistic view of Intel's earnings and revenue outlook for 2023. The average consensus estimate for Intel's revenue for 2023 is $56.1 billion, down 11% from 2022. The average consensus estimate for Intel's EPS for 2023 is $0.28, cents, down 86% from 2022. Intel's earnings and revenue outlook for 2023 reflects the continued challenges and uncertainties that the company faces in the semiconductor industry, as well as the potential opportunities and benefits that its transformation strategy may bring in the long term. Intel will need to overcome the global chip shortage, regain its market share and innovation edge, execute its IDM 2.0 strategy, and deliver on its product roadmap to achieve its financial goals and create shareholder value. Once again, my favorite place to get stock picks is inside a newsletter. You can try this market beating newsletter for just $1 for 30 days and then it's only $35 per month after. Click the link under this video to check it out.